Well, good morning. It's Wednesday, April the 15th. I'm Pastor Roddy Chesser with Open Door Family Fellowship, and this is a, a little dose of pandemic preaching this morning on your Wednesday. My Bible reading this morning had me in the book of Psalms, and I read Psalm 18. It's a, a Psalm of David, it says, when he was delivered, when the Lord delivered him from the hand of his enemies and from the hand of Saul. And he said, I will love thee, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, my God, my strength in whom I will trust, my buckler and the horn of my salvation and my high tower. I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised, so shall I be saved from mine enemies. <clears throat> you know, I love this Psalm. I, I realize as, as I read this, that David's enemies are different than my enemies. Uh, my enemies are not flesh and blood. My enemies that I wrestle with are spiritual enemies, principalities, powers, spiritual forces of darkness in high places, the book of Ephesians tells me. But I can learn a lot from an old warrior like David. <clears throat> I, can, I can learn about my spiritual battle because the book of Ephesians uses the illustration of armor and weapons to help us to understand this spiritual battle that we're involved with. And one of the things that's, that's so interesting to me about this is the, the metaphors that David uses here to describe God. Fortress, rock, high tower. You know, these are, these are encampments that you use uh, in battle and they give you the high ground. They give you the advantage against the enemy. Not only did he say that, but he said that God was his deliverer. And so David is trusting in God for the victory in the battle. And you and I have got to do the same. We've got to do the same. He, he, not only that, but he gives God the glory for what he is able to do in battle. Verse 29 says, For by thee I have run through a troop, and by my God have I leaped over a wall. As for God, his way is perfect. The word of the Lord is tried. He is a buckler to all those that trust in him. A buckler is a small shield that you would actually buckle onto your arm rather than holding. He says, for who is God save the Lord? Or who is a rock save our God? It is God that girdeth me with strength and maketh my way perfect. Your, your, your girdle is your belt. And he said, it's God that girds me with strength. He maketh my feet like hinds feet and setteth me upon my high places. Listen, in battle, you have got to maintain solid footing. If you lose your footing, you're dead. And he said, it's God who gives me hinds feet. Those are the feet of a deer. He said, it's God who sets me in the high place. Listen, if you have the high ground, you have the advantage in battle. In verse 34, he says, he teacheth my hands to war so that a bow of steel is broken by my arms. Man, I love that verse. David gave God the glory for everything that he was able to do in battle. He didn't come bragging, saying, Oh God, I'm such an incredible soldier for you. Oh God, look at these incredible exploits I've done on your behalf. No, he fought the Lord's battles fearlessly. Like when he faced Goliath, he said, Who is this uncircumcised Philistine that defies the armies of the living God? <laughs> I love it. I love it. The little boy comes to battle and says that. But the reason he was able to do that is not because he said, God, I'm a great warrior for you. Look at my devotional life. Look at how well I obey you. Look at these things that I do. He didn't do that at all. No, he came to God humbly and he said, I can't believe it, but you know what? The reason that I have strength in my arms is because God's given it to me. I can leap over a wall to pursue my enemies because God's given my legs strength. I've got good feeding, footing in the battle because God has given me hinds feet. He says, God has taught my hands to war. Listen to me this morning. You're involved in the midst of a spiritual battle, but you cannot have the victory on your own. It is a battle that must be fought using the weapons and armor that God has given to us it must be directed against a spiritual enemy and it must be empowered by the Holy Spirit. Learn from an old warrior this morning to allow God to give you the victory. He's our rock. God bless.